brother Angus, and we're doing the Hymen Way. You sound so excited. What? It's, it's a Sunday morning, and we've been walking for eight days, so... Yes, and but we are in today nine, I think, of walking yeah. the Bear Breffney Way. No, I'm excited. Yeah, this should take us four days to complete. 3.75 according to the uh, Sport Harlot. Four days. We are tired, so it might take us a little bit longer. We're starting off with the lovely Ballygar. Great spot. Uh, Ballygar is lovely. Highly recommend. Good takeaway. Good uh, coffee spots. The coffee drop in. Very nice. Um, so we're actually going to stay in Ballygar tonight. We're going to get collected, brought back here, and then get dropped off again tomorrow. So we have a bed to sleep in. We were going to wild camp. We're happy to wild camp, but we're going to keep going. See ya. Anyway. Excited about the Hymen Way. Go away, bit of go away. And then we'll end up at the border of Galway to Prairie in Portona. So, Raglin. Raglin, right, Aniva. The Haimani Way is a 90 km trail in East Galway, named after the ancient kingdom of Haimani, or Iwania. Hello. Just like the rest of the Bear Breffney Way, we're walking southbound. It's quite flat and follows mostly quiet country roads, bow rings, and of course working farmland fields. The first day, we walked about 22 kilometers from Ballygar to about a kilometer and a half outside the village of Ascara.
you think of day one of the Himani way? Himani way. Ah. Yeah? Yeah. Didn't think there was too much road walking? Well, I mean, yeah, there was a fair amount of road walking, but it was, um... It was broken up, I thought. Yeah, and it's nice countryside, and it's easy walking, and it's... Yeah, I don't know, I, I, I kind of liked it. Maybe yeah. it's because we're carrying less stuff today. So we're going up to the crossroads up ahead, before we get to Ahaskra, which the route does not go through, but Ahaskra does have a lot of shops and amenities, and some apartments which are not currently yeah. open for business. The amenities, just no accommodation. I guess the weather was on our side as well, so yeah. it was kind of uplifting. Oh, good day of walking. Yeah, lovely day of walking, nice and easy. You can kind of rush through it if you want to, which is nice. Lots of friendly animals as well. So many friendly animals. Friendly sheep, friendly cows, friendly horses, friendly dogs. That was a good day, all in all. And we got plenty of miles under our belts and uh, we're gonna hopefully continue this on tomorrow. So, catch you then. And we're back today on the Haimani Way. Hoi hoi. Just outside of Aharaska. Aharaska? Haimani. Hi Manny, and um, thank you very much for Pat from the Coffee Drop in Ballygar for giving yeah. us a lift out here today. Very, very same man. Very, very nice. Coffee Drop in, very lovely place to stay if you're in Ballygar. Very sympathetic for his walkers. Very. <laughs> He's a walker himself, so he knows, he knows. So we're going to walk to Akram today. Mm -hmm. Akram, to, to the site of the bloodiest battle in the land of Ireland. The interpretive centre is closed, so we won't be visiting it. We will be getting to Akram and taking a bus into Ballin is slow for accommodation this evening because nothing is open in Akram at the moment. Yep, so uh, yeah, another day of uh, walking plus uh, staying in a bigger town, so seems yeah. to be the way that we've had to do it thus far, but it's, it's working out well so far. But uh, yeah, big enough walk today, what, 22? 22, 20 or 22k. Nah. I think we covered an extra couple of k yesterday. Yeah, so we'll be grand because the route that we were following it said that to Clonbrook was 19k. Clonbrook. Yeah, Clonbrook. Clonbrook? Yeah, Clonbrook. Clonbrook. <laughs> very, very pedantic. We're gonna go first to Killer, and then it's gonna be a bit boggy, and then Killer to Akram. So, let's go. Yeah, and say hello to this horse who's coming over to say to greet us. Oh, the horse is saying hello. Hey, horsey. When you think you're lost, it's good to go check everything out up ahead without all your gear. So we are definitely on the right route. There's a stall up ahead. Happy days. Style. At this point we got caught out a couple of times with flooded sections of road, the only flood we found in our experience of the Haimani Way. The bog was difficult to walk along but it did have a bit of a path so I don't think we're the first to avoid water here. We took a break, took out the drone, so you can see how much water there is on the trail. Little did we know that there was another stretch of water waiting for us just around the corner, so we cut through the corner of the field. Terrible idea. We had to jump a couple of ditches, and it took about 20 minutes for something that should have taken two minutes to walk.
and we made it out of the bog alive. Bear Grylls would be proud. So we would. Can't say we didn't come back a little unscathed. Poor Angus's boots. Because you know how dangerous they are. Bogs can consume everything, including people. You have to be careful. bit outside of Akram now and um, maybe two kilometers or so. Today has not been a great day. I have very sore feet. I am very tired. Just kind of looking forward to resting. I mean I think I feel like this every day and every day I'm like the next day I'm like yeah looking forward to going again. Um, But today doesn't feel like it's been a very long day and yet it still feels tough. We did have you know some bogs that we had to cross and of the fields and my feet are wet again my feet are always wet i'm tired of my feet being wet but it's definitely getting to a point where i'd love to take a rest day but we only have six days left so let's keep this going maybe it's also the rain rain probably doesn't help with the mood we nearly finished half the himani way himani way himani himani still can't figure it out anyway later <laughs> akram in spite of all the poor weather. Yeah, terrible weather, so not a huge amount was filmed. Boggy stuff. It's wet. Very wet. So, uh, yeah, happy to be here, but now we have to wait for a bus. Yeah, we have to wait for a bus. We're going into Vanislau. There wasn't any accommodation here tonight, so we are going into the bigger town. Yeah, so we passed by the only accommodation option that would be open normally. Uh, but, yeah, we have to go to Vanislau today. And let's show you around Akram before we uh, before we go. Nice crack for the bus stop is. What's the crack? What's the crack? We're back. Yeah. Back in Akram, yeah. Back in Akram. I'm gonna do the 26k night comfort. It's a lovely misty morning here in September. It's gonna be very humid today. It's gonna to be up to 22 degrees apparently. So um, let's see how the day goes. We're gonna get started because it's a long day. We did take a rest day yesterday. We're feeling revived. Look at our walk again today. Exciting times. Not quite starting. The taxi just dropped us off here and we're gonna get Oh, are we about to go through the fields of the Battle of Akram? I think so, yeah. Where 7,000 people died. St. Ruth's Fort, where's that in the map? Haven't a clue. Oh, there's a big, you're here. Wait, yeah, we're here. So we're near St. Ruth's Bush. Oh, so this is where the, uh, where your man lost his head. Who? Man. The Battle of Akram was fought in these here fields. So we're a bit too busy walking to explain this, or even read all of the signs. But the Battle of Ockram is known to be one of Ireland's bloodiest battles, taking place in 1691, where between five and 7,000 Jacobites and Williamites lost their lives. St. Ruth's Bush. A solitary white thorn bush known as St. Ruth's Bush marks the spot where St. Ruth fell. And, um, I, I think that's it. St. Ruth was actually a French cavalry officer, Charles Chalmont de saint Ruth, commissioned by Louis XIV, the Jacobites as a general, and he was decapitated at Ockram. Said to be at that bush.
So a woman just pulled over and offered me a lift. I had to explain to her that no, I'm actually walking voluntarily all the way to Glenfort today because this is part of the Haimani way. The first time in our walking experience so far that we've been offered a lift. It's interesting. Maybe they don't re realize that this is part of a walking route. Or maybe I don't look like a walker enough. <laughs> yeah, no, today is definitely going very well. Um, I don't think we've covered that many miles or kilometers just yet, but the weather's nice, it's overcast, but warm, it's a little breeze, it's pretty perfect walking weather to be honest, and the views are much better than they were the last couple of days of the Haimani Way, just because we were on a little bit of a, a hill that overlooked some valleys, so spirits are high, and um, even though this day is going to be long, we will be definitely coming in with a bit of a bang tonight, so happy days. We have been walking along an old disused canal, just outside Balmanis though, for what feels like for forever. <laughs> but it's a nice change from the quite country roads that we've been walking along so far because some of these stretches have been quite long. And when I mean quite long, I mean it's kind of the same for quite a while, like maybe five kilometers or more. Um, but we just are after getting some tree coverage and then there's trees growing on either side of the canal. now. There is canal in there, but you barely notice because it's so overgrown with reeds, but I can still see water from time to time. And then it's just kind of like a ditch on the other side. But it does feel like one long, endless stretch. Uh, but yeah, nice. And if it was a, I mean, it is a hot day, but if it was a really sunny day, you get a little bit of coverage here. It's really picturesque, actually. I like it. Not the best wear with shorts with <laughs> so many nettles. Oh, poor legs.
bog that we've been passing by has been traditional bog or traditionally worked bog but now we're next to Bordnemona industrial industrially worked bog so we thought maybe we wouldn't be able to wild camp here because we thought it was still in use but it's actually I think they finished up using it as of last year so this is the difference <laughs> Or like a wasp's nest or something. Yeah? Oh, you're right, it's good. A lot of bees are in here.
it's Clonfert. It's Clonfart, Clonfert. Clonfart. Uh, oh. To Clonfert, but Clonfart works too. Anyway, yeah. we're here. We're here, and we're gonna go check out the cathedral before we get picked up by our B&B host. Yeah, so let's go have a look. Yeah, let's check out the cathedral. Clanford uh, was supposed to be Trinity. Okay. Trinity was supposed to be built in Clanford. At the last minute, somebody in Dublin changed it. And that's when all the, all the students were here at, at that time. The 7,000 students at that time, at any one given time. So it must be a huge place like. There's right. only about two services in the year now. This was the Catholic Church one time, at the time of the Reformation. And the old priest that was here at that time, they were Going to bring, give, it, give it back to the, to the Catholics. The old priest uh, said that he had to give a uh, pound to get it back, and he wouldn't give the pound. So I still belong to the Church, Church of Ireland. And there's a nice little a little thing up on the rear the top. I'll show you if you want to have a look at it. Uh, the mermaid. That's the mermaid. Something that St. Brendan doing on his, his ride. He has seen the mermaid. And this is the mermaid brushing her hair. So it's number polish. And these are supposed to be some of his roars. And there's, there's a big a big head up here in there, but it's very hard to see them. See them? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's that's still walking on that that is it's there for years and years. About twenty years ago the the they put in new new windows in it. And they said uh, they had to bring them to, or oh, nowhere, bring them up to north to, to do to do, to do all the glass in it. Yeah. And they said it was the oldest, the oldest uh, glass in Ireland. There's uh, another, another big head. You won't see it now. See where the where the light. Oh is yeah. There, just, uh, underneath it. Sorry, I had to walk. Uh, so, oops, a daisy. Oh, stiff old arms and legs and everything. We're very stiff today. This is day four of four of the Haimani Way. We're walking from Clonfort to Portumna. Just uh, stayed in um, Lynch's farmhouse, B&B, &B, last night. Looked uh, after by Josephine and Kieran. They're very nice people. Very lovely people. Highly recommend you stay with them. Uh, so it was great. Thank you so much. Uh, and, they uh, dropped us back to Clonfort Cathedral. And happy, happy 50th wedding anniversary. Next week. Next week. Um, but yeah, and then when we were dropped off, I'm sure Ornick got some footage there in Clanford Cathedral. We got a, a little old tour of, uh, of, of St. Brendan's Cathedral in Clanford. So by Jim Ryan. By Jim Ryan. He's a caretaker. Sound man. Lovely chap. Uh, so yeah, we're, we're walking. Excited. Last day of walking. 21 kilometers and uh, should be a bit of crack. Walk along the Shannon Callows later on. Ornick's excited. Look at that. Not a bother on it. And uh, yeah, off we go. These bushes remind me so much of school.
electric fence there. There's a way marker in the in the bushes over there. Hopefully these cows will remain uninterested in us. There's a stile over there. And there's another way marker over there in the far end of that field that you can't really see in the camera. And maybe you stile over on that side of the field. Anyway, very confusing. Very confusing altogether. Yeah. But we'll keep walking and we're going to aim to go with that style. Maybe we'll try to go around the field. Yeah. Away from the cows. Yeah. They look uninterested, which is good. Apart from one. But when one is interested, then they all get interested. That's true too. <laughs> okay, let's see what happens. All right, let's go. Oh, you're going under as well. Waymarker brought us from here. Over there. To up here. Hello. Marching line. <laughs> hey, hey, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Yeah, that's fine. Last stretch. So we read in the Ireland Way book and also from some reviews of this part of the trail before that it's very nice. You know, you're along the Shannon, it's beautiful. And it is, and there's very little coverage. And it was been it's been cloudy pretty much all morning to be honest. And we were like, oh, it would be grand. But then, of course, the literally minutes before we start this section of the trail, the sun is out in full force, which is nice. Get in some vitamin D before we finish up. It's very warm. Very warm. But lovely at the same time. But definitely worth packing sunscreen. Wear sunscreen.
so sweaty. It's great. Oh, my legs are covered in little stings and thistle stings. But I'm gonna keep tracking because that's what you do. One foot in front of the other. So far it's been very mixed terrain on the Esker that we've been on. Sometimes it's quite easy to walk on and sometimes there's an awful lot of grass that's really overgrown. There's nettles, there's thistles. We thought it'd be quite a quick 15k walk, um, but it's been proving kind of hard, especially in the heat. So we've decided to walk on the little side road along the Esker, which I guess is used by the tractors and stuff because mostly it's maintained. Oscar decided to end not too long after we switched roads anyway. finished the Hymeni section, Hymeni section of the Barber Freeway and we're just going to walk over to Tipperary because we can't. Made it to Tipperary. We're still uh, we're still in the river, Sean. <laughs> oh right. But we're we are officially in Tipperary now. So. Okay, there we have it. We made it to Tipperary. It's a long way to Tipperary. Yeah, we did it. We walked it all the way. So uh, yeah, that's the end of the Hymani Way and the end of this uh, current instalment of the Bear Breaking Way. The Ormond Way follows up that way somewhere. There's a missing link between the two and we will walk that again in a few weeks maybe. Another time. That's it. Until then. Bye. Bye. With his dopey little face. Got a bramble stuck in you there, Ingo. Hold on. It's really caught deep in there. It's a bit too far away. Today is Ingo's birthday. Out here, in the great plains of the Serengeti, one can still find indigenous wildlife. Here comes one of the larger predators now. Looks pretty dry. Um, what? Yeah, give a look. How big is the hole? I, there was no hole. Now there's a hole. Yeah. I think we should take our chances the other way around. I think so. Well, we're nearly there, aren't we?
Yeah, but sure, like, that came, that came out of nowhere. What? <laughs> so loud. Maybe the dragonfly likes the drone. Lovely. My lovely horse. Running through the fields. My lovely, lovely, lovely horse. My lovely horse.